Okay, guys, welcome back to um, part two of doing my own nails using the acrylics because that's what won in the Instagram poll. I will still do um, gel nails a little bit later. They're just not going to be this week. Um, actually, it'll probably be probably a month from now because it's been about a month since the last time I did this. Um, I have used both of the colors. What I used was the Color Club Serendipity uh, 21 Day Wear at Home Nail Color Dip Kit. It's the confetti uh, the confetti cake starter kit. The colors it comes with are uh, Old Soul and Traffic Jammin. And in it, you get your brush cleaner, your instant activator, and your bonding gloss. And you also get this really neat little four-sided file and legit, that's all you guys need. I like to add isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol, because it dries out my nails and gets rid of all the oils. I have really weird nails that um, they like reject everything. Now I'm not I'm, I'm not a nail technician by any means. Um, I used to do my own nails in high school um, and I've like throughout there have been periods of time in my life when I've done my own nails and I've been doing it for forever um, but I'm not a professional but I do have like kind of a good idea of what I'm doing. I used to do my own acrylics in high school and not gonna lie these turn out pretty good for at home acrylics like I've had my like I've done my own nails I've had my nails done at really expensive places I've had my nails done at less expensive places I've had awesome acrylics and I've had crap acrylics and these are like if user was better at doing them, I'd say these are pretty close to that top end awesome acrylics. Like I would pay to have this put on my nails. This is a good product. It stays put. Y'all, I did the pink one last month and it lasted more than 21 days. Like I finally was like, I want to film the other color. So I actually took them off. They were still on my nails. I took them off because I wanted to be able to film me doing them and taking them off wasn't that hard and my nails weren't nearly as damaged as they are when I go to a salon. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I use a hand file as opposed to using an electric file. I don't know if it's the product. I don't know what it is. All I know is my nails are still thriving. They're not super thin and brittle when I take this off, which is like mind blowing. I have not done them on others yet. Um, just because I haven't. I will say um, the first time around I did three dips. This time I just did two dips and doing the two dips you can see that the um, color changing, you can see it best on my thumbs, does take effect. These are mood nails which means when they get cold they turn a darker color. So for example we're going to use a little tiny bit of isopropyl alcohol because it's cold. Okay, isopropyl alcohol, nail, maybe this way. It gets darker. Isn't that awesome? Like, and it's not just the thumbs, they all do it. See? That's awesome. It also works running your hands under cold water. I'm not near cold water to run my hands under. This is definitely something I would recommend buying. You can get it off of Amazon. You can get it off of Walmart.com. Some Walmarts even carry them in store. Mine doesn't. I ordered mine off Amazon. I paid, I want to say like $20 for it. Um, I didn't pay shipping because I have Prime and it took like four days to get to me. But that was also in the middle of all this quarantine junk. Well, not like quarantine junk, but this was back when everyone was like social distancing and everyone was freaking out buying all the toilet paper, like um, early March-ish, because that's when all of the crazy started around here was early March. Um, really nice. It has all of the instructions how to do it on the back. If you're not good at reading, you can also go to their website and they have videos that tell you how to do it. Or you can watch my video. Again, I'm not a professional. I'm nowhere near any good, as good as the people that do this like frequently. But I like to think I did a pretty good job. I'm happy with them. Like they are strong. 
Um, and what's nice is it's just over my nails. I didn't have to glue on tips. You can glue on tips, but you don't have to. And what's super amazing is all the colors, y'all. Like, oh my gosh, there are so many colors. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, when I was, like, debating about buying these, it wasn't whether or not to buy them. It was what color do I get? They had like six different starter kits. They have others that are mood changing colors. They have like glitters. They have a French tip one. They have their original. They have one that's white. So much. And not even going to lie y'all, I'm probably going to end up getting like a white or really light colored one and then painting over it because I like nail art. I like a little bit of extra fancy. Um, and so that's probably a thing that I'll do. What I do feel like you need to add like from home is you're going to want a kabuki brush to brush off the extra powder. Um, I personally prefer to shape my nails with an emery board. Plus it comes in really handy for like making sure your side edges are clean. Uh, so you're going to want some emery boards. If you're anything like me, you're going to want the alcohol because after you take the shine off your nails, this just like really helps your nails like mat down and have no oil on them. And of course, if you have color on your nail beforehand, you're going to need nail polish remover. Mine, I just used Equate regular nail polish remover with some acetone in it. Um, and then I like to use these little cottony squares for the rubbing alcohol because it feels fancy. And I have them on hand for my eye makeup remover anyways. And then you're going to need like cotton-free, lint-free like tissues so not like kleenex not like toilet paper you want like legit the best thing that i have found is these to go napkins because they just they, they if you rub on your nail it doesn't leave a fuzzy behind and you don't want fuzzies behind because then they get stuck in your nails and then you're like trying to get them out it's not a fun thing don't do it you definitely can do this with an electric file. I don't. Um, I have before. I'm just not a big fan of the electric file. I feel like it doesn't work as well and you don't have as much control as you do with like just a manual file. What I really like is they are high gloss, high shine, like high shine. And you could still like paint glitter over the top of these if you want to. I don't want to. I like, I actually am kind of liking the blue. I didn't think I was going to. Like I originally bought this so that I could do the pink and I'd do the blue on um, my friend Jess and her daughter. Well, actually I was probably gonna do the pink on her daughter, but I know that she really likes blue. But after putting it on, I'm not mad at it. Um, sorry, I'm making sure my music stays going. I'm not like mad at it at all. So that is definitely one that I would recommend if you are accustomed to having nails, cause this is like something that a beginner could do. It literally tells you, a, B, C. Like, I will read you some of the instructions so you know, like, just how easy this is. Um, and the instructions do come in English and I'm going to presume Spanish. I'm presuming. I don't speak Spanish, so I, I don't know. But, like, literally, directions. One, wash your hands with soap and water dry thoroughly. Two, use the medium side of the buffer included to gently remove shine from natural nails. Remove any dust by wiping the surface of each nail. This is optional to use. This is where the alcohol comes in handy. It's optional. Um, that was three, not two, sorry. But like, it's literally, it's step by step. All the way down. And they even got like little helpful tips and you can buy their colors directly from them. Like I said, you can go through Amazon, you can go through Walmart. It's up to you. But I will definitely be keeping these on hand. I will definitely be getting myself more colors. Um, cause this is definitely a thing I'm going to keep doing. I, I, I love the way it turned out. Like, yeah, it's a, it can be a little bit messy, which is why you want to like preemptively have your space set up and ready to be cleaned up. There, that, that's towel on the table. Don't mind it. I was doing dishes. Um, but yeah, guys, I, I like it. Um, I think you'd like it too, especially if you're anything like me. And if any of you are like going through nail withdrawals because all of the places are closed, try it out. I mean, for 20 bucks and there's a ton of like manicures in there. Like that, that dip pot is still really, really full. 
and I dipped twice. And the pink one, the first one that I did, I did three coats. And I could probably still do a ton more. Like, if cost is a factor at all, it used to cost me like $45 to get a fresh set and anywhere from $25 to $35 to get a fill. I spent $20 on that. I've got two different colors and <laughs> I've got nails for probably six months. I'm not kidding. Probably for six months because they stayed on that long. So if not longer than six months because they stayed on for a month and then I took them off and switched colors. And I know there's more than six manicures in there. So definitely check it out, y'all. I think it's awesome. I think you'll like it. I like it. But this was just kind of a short how I feel about the product. Um, it was wonderful chatting with you. I hope you like my nails. I hope well, I hope my little how-to that I did earlier was helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more of the random fun. Uh, this eye look you will see a tutorial for um, this weekend. It's an Easter eye look. So look forward to that. Um, make sure you've got that bell on so that the notif notifications get to you. And I'm actually about to go do a little research for some other videos that I'm doing. It was wonderful chatting with you all. Um, hopefully I'll see you soon. Also, keep an eye on my Instagram because there might be more polls to come. And I'll post them on Twitter too. So go follow me there too. Um, my links are on my profile. My Instagram is MidnightAngel1206. And my Twitter is just MidnightAngel without the E. So it's Midnight A N G L. Um, just because I've not yet figured out how to put the words on the screen. So, as always, be kind to one another, be the change you want to see in the world, and remember, a smile is, like, super infectious.